I'm going to tell you a story now. A few years back, I was living in Los Angeles, and I and a couple of other women and a few other men, a few more men than women, a handful all together of people, uh, all serious spiritual students, lifelong spiritual students, all of us, were coming to awareness together of the unconscious thought cloud of the world. And we didn't know anything about it. It was all completely new to us. We didn't know what was happening. And we had, we had many severe, strict learning experiences from God during that time. And we're still all a little bit sore in our individual consciousness at each other right now with the notion that maybe one of us caused it to happen. Uh, very specifically, they think that I caused it to happen to them, and I think it was their fault. <laughs> but in the broad view of things, it was something that was happening to all of us, even though we weren't all of the same faith or the same spiritual group or like that. For some reason, God plunked us all in this situation of coming to awareness of the unconscious thought cloud of the world. It was a very rocky road. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you one anecdote about that that set us back immensely. Two. One was the coming to understanding that anger, subconsciously held and repressed anger, was causing humankind to, to, to strike out at other members of their own families and groups uh, while they were sleeping and attempt to cause uh, a fatal, fatal diseases or fatal like physical problems such as heart attack or cancer or just general cursing wishes that, that, that and and this was something that, that we could not come to terms with at the time. The knowledge that we ourselves were in this realm of duality were through our shadow side creating the, the, um, the great ills of, of, of hu humankind and, and even more so to those that were enmeshed in our own karmic webs such as family and friends and workplace people and so forth. Um, so that was one learning experience. And then past that, th what happened was the rising above that to the uh, neutral mind and the understanding that this is the working of the realm of polarity, the dual realm. And that within us is that strong, clear, bright spirit of of the divine, that eternal soul that has, has bravely taken on the responsibility of creating this reality. So, so quite a learning experience. And then the knowledge from that was that was an immediately, immediate understanding of the, of our multi-dimensionality because that experience of, of creating the shadow and the light in this dual realm uh, is superimposed upon uh, the, the more um, glorious understanding of our presence and our, um, our, the light that we carry in the fifth dimension. That's the first thing about the, the, the lesson that we learned. What was that? I think there's a very upset cow down there. There's this, this beautiful campground, private campground down here on the, I guess, north eastern edge of Alicito Lake. It's closed right now. And the cows are roaming around just at will down there. So now on to the, th the second thing that we learned that it's the only other thing I'm going to talk about right now. 
There was a time when the man uh, in this very small handful of people some years ago uh, began to become rise to consciousness of the raping, killing instincts in, in men. And um, those that were the most conscious and who were most appalled in that group um, followed that trend of, of deep, dark energy consciously as it coursed through Los Angeles. And uh, they felt, uh, unwittingly felt, that they were responsible at that time for that energy. And what the energy was doing was it was it was rising up, especially on Friday and Saturday nights in Los Angeles when many people are intoxicated and under the influence of recreational drugs and frequenting places where they can pick up other people. And uh, for, for generally uh, just a one night or one hour stand. So there is that very dark dance energy in Los Angeles at that time, probably still now. And so during those times, the consciousness of those who were coming to awareness of individuation, those that handful of people, noticed and 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 in horror followed the energies that were going forth, which would um, glom together and gather in vast like herds of of unknowing energy, of raping and killing energy, and settle upon some person as if there were um, a, a malevolent spirit, say the fallen angel of Los Angeles, as some presume, which I think is now gone, I hope. I've done my best, and so have others, <laughs> for all the big cities of Earth. Uh, and the way of it was to say, when we sensed their presence, to say, I read you, uh, to call our, our team and say, read them their rights, by cosmic sovereign law. And then we would hear quite a commotion, you know, carrying on and reading of rights and, and protestations of loopholes that might be used and so forth, and finally a, a carrying off of the energy. But all that is in an aside. And to get back to this, this, this learning experience for this small handful. Um, so we would be carried along on this wave of, of raping and um, pillaging and killing energy, and it would settle as if there were some malevolent intelligence involved, which might be off of the fallen angel of a particular city, that settled on someone weaker, someone that was a little afraid. It could be a man or a woman, and, and caused either a feeling that they were being raped or that they were being, their heart was stopping and they were being killed, they would fall down dead sometimes. We were all horrified, those that knew. Horrified and feeling responsible. And so, and also there was this, this rave, wave of being raped and being killed energy that went round. And so, um, and I did my best to, I finally attained a neutral mind with regard to that. I finally came to an understanding, a higher understanding, uh, that allowed me to escape from that energy. Yet I could hear women all over the city of Los Angeles screaming in terror in their subconscious minds as they slept. Um, and the men also arrived, at, finally arrived at some understanding about that, that they were a uh, being of infinite awareness and eternal life. They were a beingness that saw what was happening here and, and were not part of it. So there's that story. I, I went on and on. Please do excuse me. <laughs>